Well, it's interesting, right? I mean, on the one hand, we think of the perpetrators of the Boston Tea Party as heroes, but um, even people at the time weren't quite sure about this. They said, whoa, property destruction against a, you know, against a private company. We're not sure that that's a legitimate thing to do. Uh, you know, it made ben people like Benjamin Franklin and George Washington initially very nervous. They didn't know at the time that it was going to turn into this catalyst for the American Revolution. They just thought that it was something that was going to anger the British. And they turned out to be exactly right about that. Um, and so I think one of the things that you learn in studying the Boston Tea Party is just thinking of them as simple heroes uh, doesn't really do them justice. At the time, what they were doing was really quite controversial and, you know, w and basically led to disaster, if you think about it. It led to an eight-year war, you know, uh, a greater percentage of casualties among the population than any war in American history other than the Civil War. Um, and so it leads to a lot of misery. And so thinking of the Boston Tea Party as just a simple act of heroism that somehow magically galvanized all Americans to protest against the British, that's just not true. What the Boston Tea Party achieved was angering Parliament so much that they passed the Coercive Acts, you know, punishing Massachusetts, punishing Boston for what had happened. And it's, the, it's that punishment that ends up galvanizing the Americans against Great Britain and leading them to take up arms against the British in 1774 and 1775.